Fashion before was probably just a, a phase. As I grow through it, I definitely have found that, that this is the person I am, how I dress, how I present myself. This is, this is my passion, this is what I'm growing into. I know um, the look I'm going for now or what I'm capable of doing and I only want to get bigger. I'm MJ Leyland and I'm a couture fashion designer. having to look for a good find or like something like that and Axe Antique is definitely the place that I found for that for sure. Anything that I want is kind of like in a weird way they always have something that I need so I never start a show without them or the dollar store. There's not one time I walk in there and I don't find something that I can't use. It's, it's definitely not your typical runway show. For sure. I mean, you're going to have something on your face, you're going to have something on your back, something, somewhere. Yes, I went to Mercyhurst College for about two months, um, but I was also in the um, fashion merchandising program because that's what I thought I wanted to do. I, Once again, like I was only designing um, jeans, so I didn't know what I was going to do yet. And in the fourth year, they would send you to New York, so that's really why I did the program. The main lady came in and she said to everybody in the class, now class, I want everybody to know that none of you will be a designer coming out of this class. I was like, what? I'm like, wait a second. I think that's exactly what I want to be. The fact that you just told me that I couldn't, that's what I want to do. I came home because um, of my daughter. She's four and a half now. I came home, you know, to raise her and to be around my family, help me as a single mom. It was hard. I mean, it's not an easy transition by any means. Single mom, are you kidding? Plus doing, like, designing? Insane. It's insanity. She's funny. She's with me 24-7. Everywhere I go, she's with me, getting things at the Home Depot, Sarasnik's, Axe Antique. She's like, are we seriously going there again? Oh my God. Whether she's playing Barbies and I'm sewing next to her trying to like get last minute things ready, it's, she's always there. She's always there. That was like a year ago, actually, Enchanted. She asked me to do 40 looks, 40, and I almost passed out. I went home and I'm like, I know I have to do this, but 40? I never even, I didn't even sleep that night. I didn't even sleep. I'm like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do it? Models plus changes, I mean, insanity. But I knew that that was like my next step, my biggest step. That was the hardest, but it was also the first, you know, of, of how many that I've had in Pittsburgh that just helps me grow and really is just so, so funny to even look back on and say like, oh my gosh, yeah, I did put tree branches on the back of that girl and almost knock all their lights over and oh, it was insane, but it was a good, open, final, like this is me, this is it. A new Project Runway is a chance, a new beginning for me, a time to show my designs and prove myself. I've come so far with my look, and I need them for guidance into my future. 